All right, everyone, link in the description, archived, of course. Uh, this is a little bit of a mystery. Some scientists went to Antarctica to do neutrino research. They do it out in remote locations so that there's less interference uh, from you know, electronics and, and traffic and things like that. You wouldn't want to do it, for example, in the middle of Manhattan. You know, your research probably wouldn't pay off. But in Antarctica, there's not a whole lot going on. Or at least they thought so, because it turns out there are radio waves coming from underneath the ice. And they do not know where they're coming from. Now, this comes after a series of other bizarre discoveries in Antarctica over the course of literally decades. First, they found that there are relatively temperate pockets underneath Antarctica, including apparently an unfrozen lake. Then they found that below the ice, there are fish that are literally thriving down in little pockets down there. The whole thing is crenellated with tunnels and canyons and so forth, and was once, many, many millions of years ago, a thriving temperate continent, or chunk of continent, Pangea and so forth. Um, and, and so it wasn't always the way that it is now. There have been rumors for literally decades. There are UFOs underneath there. The Nazis managed to work some U-boats underneath the ice, which I believe actually happened. I do believe that they navigated through some of those tunnels. They would have encountered water that was surprisingly warm, literally running out of the continent itself, uh, which is probably heated by seismic activity, volcanism, things like that. Um, it's not a dead continent. It's filled with resources. Um, I believe that the most likely explanation, ironically, is that a population is down there and they're utilizing radio signals for communication uh, and, and so forth. Uh, this is actually not unlikely. Imagine a scenario where, let's say, the Nazis got their way under the continent. They managed to get to the, uh, uh, the center of the continent, so to speak. And they set up, you know, within an air pocket, of course, um, a system using the resources that they had. We know that attempts at least were made at this. <laughs> you look at uh, New Schwab land and so forth. Um, and set up some sort of generation system that can run for an extended period of time to create like a radio beacon or something like that. This is not actually implausible. Not gonna lie. And if there were aliens coming to the world, there aren't, but this is something that I'm sure people will mention in the comments. Um, that would be a perfect location because there's not a whole lot of human activity going on there. You know, if you had advanced technology, you could set up a beacon. Uh, you could see, you know, you know, ET phone home mode. Uh, you could have even a base, a little colony on Earth to monitor mankind or something like that. I don't happen to agree with that theory, but it's possible. Of course. There may be a natural uh, source to these radio waves, but uh, they're not sure that there's any explainable natural phenomenon that could actually actually do this. Now, because there is relative warmth underneath the ice, and because there is food available, in the form of fish mainly, um, a remnant of some group of people could theoretically still be down there. There could literally be a U-boat parked down there that's been jury-rigged in order to take advantage of mineral resources for energy or something like that. Maybe the Nazis went down there and they found oil and they dismantled a couple U-boats for parts and then they set up a rig to extract it. And now they're using it to power a generator or something like that, to power lights and, and a radio signal or something. And they're surviving on fish. <clears throat> and uh, half-century-old canned goods or something like that. Again, this is not impossible. Or it could be that some country has set up a base underneath Antarctica. There was an Antarctic expedition right after World War II, for example, uh, with Admiral Byrd at the head, if I remember correctly. And uh, there were numerous sightings of strange aircraft. There were numerous anomalies that went on. And uh, there are multiple documentaries uh, that you can look up, actually. They'll look up the Antarctic Expedition. And uh, they, they encountered some bizarre things when they got down there. Now, part of this is the human inclination to say, it's unexplored, therefore there must be strange things here. 
you know, there there be dragons and stuff like that, you know, sea monsters and unicorns and stuff like that. The human wants to believe that there's something unknown, something beyond. This is why I don't like solving mysteries. I prefer them to remain mysteries, generally speaking, because those anomalies are exciting. It's something <laughs> sometimes a little bit spooky, other times just merely exciting. It's part of the human forte. We uh, evolve to like storytelling and things like that. But I do have to admit, if top-level scientists can't figure out where the radio waves are coming from, and apparently it's in pulses, uh, that's very strange. My, my real theory, um, unless there is a repository of technology down there that was set up to operate for an extended period, and that is possible, trust me, it is entirely possible that with the technology in the mid-40s, you could set such a system up. Uh, if you could engage in energy extraction of any kind, uh, you could probably figure it out. You could have literal human industry going on down there, and it would be so heavily shielded and impermeable that nobody on the surface would know about it. It's possible. My uh, theory is that it's something related to tectonics, or the slow movement of ice across rock, or something like that, um, or something of that nature. Uh, but... It is possible if there's a spookier explanation. Could be aliens. It's always aliens, you know. We we know that that's always the answer. But it is kind of spooky, yeah. It's a little bit weird. Because, again, they were doing neutrino research, and they had radio beacons set up in order to uh, uh, conduct their research, and then they start getting these anomalous signals. It's like, are you going to start hearing Imperial probe droids down there? Are the Nazis rebuilding a Fourth Reich? Underneath the ice, we may never know. That's about all. Peace out.